Hey, hello, and uh, welcome to another one of these AutoHotKey Calm video references. I'm Jackie, and today I'm thinking that I'll show you a short demo of how you can how you can automate uh, Internet Explorer. So to start off, I think we'll make variable, and I'm going to use a variable that is called wb for web browser and then we'll use one of these built-in commands of our hotkey so harm object create for this one we are going to create the object that's called internet oops Explorer. And it's the application. Action. Like so. So yeah, and again, as with most of the other uh, Microsoft Calm objects, it starts off with an invisible window. So we'll use VB that is visible and set that value to true so that we can actually see the window so this shows IE yeah and to actually do something with the IE window we, we need to navigate to a page so VB navigate again and where should we navigate to? I think that we could navigate to. Um, we'll navigate to the Arhatki homepage, arhatki.com, like so. Yeah, and yeah, now that will actually load. But to not just have the script execute while the page is actually loading, I think we'll. We'll look for the pages. Uh, let's look for the ready state. And so while the web browsers ready state like so. And then you could either do like so, not equal, or let's say smaller, larger than, or and when the ready state is four, it is complete. So while it's not four, this loop will keep running while the value of the ready state is not four. So if we just put inside the loop here, we put in continue, like so. So now we have set up an not an endless loop, but at least a loop that will keep checking, checking the value of the ready state. So as long as that's not 4, it will continue to loop. So yeah, that will actually tell us hmm, when, when the ready state will be four yeah. it is loaded like so so yeah and yeah when the page is loaded perhaps we should check something so we'll use a message box like so force an expression like this so and put in a new line. Now what? We'll check to URL. Yeah. And we can check that by actually looking at the web browsers. So, location URL. It's a property of the web browser object. So, so this maybe we should actually run this immediately. So we'll save that into 
basic let's just use this again basic ie com or hotkey demo so we'll save that and run the script so as you can see it's already loading our hotkey.com with that so yeah in a moment when the page is actually done loading you can see here it's telling me in a message box that the URL is HTTP www.hotkey.com just as we asked so that's good it's working didn't make any typos which is great so um, and just put in get the URL of the site like so. Next, to actually do something more, I'm thinking that maybe we should navigate to something else. Could navigate to the docs perhaps. So we'll again navigate to www.hotkey.com but to the documentation like so and again we actually need to wait for the page to load so what we could also do we could actually check while the web browser is busy this will also, it's, it's not the same as this, but it can be used almost the same way. But instead, while the, the busy, let's call it a property. Um, while the busy property, while the busy property yeah, it, it will be true as long as the browser is actually busy so as long as the page is not downloading um, will be true while the page is loading so so if we again here it says continue like so as long as the page is actually loading it will continue to loop so it's it's just another way of actually testing for the loading property so yeah, yeah we can actually check that the page gets loaded this way so page loaded you know what yeah, we can actually tell what we're going to do get here we'll get the current version as that's actually on that page so to do that you're going to check and store the version text on the documentation front page so let's make a variable for that version text and we'll go through the web branch object and through the document under that one and we'll use the method um, get elements by tag name this will actually give us a collection of elements with for this I'm choosing to check for h1 elements which is a headline ones that's big headlines and i know that that hot key version text is in the very first headline of that site so it will be the zero one so it's the index zero being the first one as javascript and stuff like that is zero based so, and we want the very first H1's inner text. So, like that. This 
will now retrieve the inner text and store it in our variable version text. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's show that in the message box. No one. Message box. Uh, version text is. And here we can just use the variable from above, so version underscore text, using the percentages to actually show what the, this variable holds. So let's let's test that out. So save and run. So first we'll go to our hotkey. It will show us the URL, which is great. Now it will navigate to the next part. So, as you can see there, it's navigating to the documentation of our hotkey. The page is loading. Get the current version, which is this one up here. So, the version text is version v1.21. Yeah. So, that also worked great. What should we do now? We could, perhaps we should click this version text, as that's a hyperlink, you can see that, probably take us to the change log or something like that, but uh, let's try and click that, so let's put in a comment, click version text link, like so, and to do that, we'll again go to the web browser object and to the document of that object. And again, we'll use the same method of uh, get elements. Uh, the S here is actually telling us that it's returning a collection of elements. So get elements by tag main. And again, we're going to return the h1 just to narrow down the field of actual elements that are returned and again we wash, want to have the very first one so the index zero and when we are there we'll again use the get elements so now we are in the h1 and to get the elements inside there we will use the method again so get elements by tag name and in here I wish to get the link we just saw just a moment ago and A that are link elements so the A A and I again want to have the first one of those so as you can see and I want to click that so now I'll actually click on the version link and the page will start loading. And to make sure that we wait until it's finished, we'll again check the web browser's busy property. And we'll continue to check that until it's not busy anymore. So let's see a message box. Now as it should at least now that now that the page is loaded like so we what will we we will we will select all yeah you know just like you would with Control A. That's the shorthand in our hotkey. Control A. Yeah, that's that's normal. So you know what should we continue now, or should we test? Oh, let me just put in a click one here, just with your. So now we're checking, okay, so the URL is okay. The page loaded and we're getting the current version. Yeah, that's good. 
Now we are clicking the actual hyperlink. And there, the page loaded. And yeah, next up. Let's execute a select all command. Okay. That's good, that worked. So next up, we'll do mm, select. Oh. Select all. And the value to actually use that with the execute command is um, seven. That's a constant for actually doing commands in this way. So we go through the web browser object and we'll use the method execute, uh, short for execute VP. Uh, and here we'll put in what we want to execute. And in this case, we want to execute a, the seventh, 17th command, which is uh, select all which we just put in here. So now we're using the variable select all and um, we'll use the default options of that. So that's a zero there. So what we'll be doing is we'll, we'll put in here, this will select all and it uses default options like so so yeah and just to let it do that we'll make the script sleep for a second and we'll put in a message box just to, to finish it all off so the next thing we will do after this and we'll see it in a moment is we will simply exit Internet Explorer. Yeah. And that can be done. Yeah, yeah, let's let's just type that quickly. So we'll quit. Internet Explorer with the use of the web browser object and the method quit like so. So yeah, let's see it all in action. No, and I'll just fix this up here. Message box. So now we'll see all that we have seen already. And now we'll also select all of the text and then we'll exit out of Explorer. So let's see all of that. So we are seeing the URL of the first client, yeah. Next, we're seeing the current version in a moment. So that's good. Yeah, there it is. Then, yeah, we clicked it and now this page is loaded and now we should select all. Let's see that working. Yeah. And of course it went away as this message box came up, but it did all that we asked. And now Internet Explorer will close. Yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you liked it, please like or share. Yeah, you're welcome to comment as well. Bye.